Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. In this lecture, we are going to run a DC motor in two directions uh, using two drivers of this L293 D chip. Now it runs at 255 counterclockwise. Stop and then it goes 125 clockwise. And then stop and then it goes at 125 counterclockwise pulse width modulation value. Then stop and then now we will gradually increase it from 125 slowly to 255. And then stop and then this time we go from maximum below down now it is slowing down and then we wait at the minimum speed of 115 and now it repeats back this is a half of l293 the d is with a diode exact chip with a lower current we call this half because the two driver is used. This is one portion of the chip. And as you can see here, we have one A and this is the one I. This is two A and that is the two I. And in both of these, we have one enable. This enable is for one and two. These diodes are internal in, inside the L293D. In our case, the one wire of the motor is connected to pin six and the other wire have been connected to pin 3. Here is the wiring for the bidirectional motor control which you are able to control the motor in both clockwise and counterclockwise direction. When you prepare L293D chip or working with Arduino, first pre prepare your breadboard like this. And pay attention here, pin 1 is on this side, and the notch is here, so pin 1 up to 8, and from here 9 to 16. First, 2 pin at the middle, we have 3 pin on this side, 3 pin on this side, pin 4 and 5, connect them together with a piece of jumper wire, and then from other wire, connect it to the blue side of this uh, breadboard. And then the other side, 2 pin, together connected with this wire with one piece of wire and then from this or this because they are now together put another wire to the ground so this side is connected on and two pin from the other side have been connected to the ground now two more pin left pin eight on this side and 16 on the other side eight will be connected to positive and 16 will be connected to positive this is the logic main one will never change but this one if you need to use your battery you remove it and connect your battery directly here which i'm going to explain it within the wiring the wiring is exactly the same as before on the breadboard i've added this wire from pin 4 an orange wire to pin 7 and the motor which before was connected to pin 3 and to the ground instead of ground now it has been connected to pin 6 so this pin will act as ground and automatically and this will act as a VCC and on the other direction this will act as VCC and this will act as ground if you want to use your own battery remove pin 8 from this point which was connected to this positive and put your battery or external power supply to pin 8 and the ground of your power supply or battery to the ground this line by the blue line and here in the actual wiring as I mentioned I've, I've added only this orange wire from pin 4 to pin 7 of this chip and for my motor these two wires which one of them before were connecting to the ground now one will be connected to pin 3 and one will be connected to pin 6 for my power supply I will connect external power supply pin 8 which was connected to uh, VCC now I'm connecting my external power supply this is my power supply the two wires I will connect my battery 
or power supply, the positive to pin 8 and the negative to the ground. Here let me explain the code. We define pin 2 as 1A and we call it pin 1A and we define pin 4 of Arduino as pin 2A and pin 3 of Arduino which is pulse width modulation and it must be pulse width modulation will we use for enable 1 and 2 and we are going to control the speed of motor using pin enable 1 and 2. Inside the setup this is uh, as before, we define the serial monitor with 9600 baud. We use pin mode, pin 1A as an output, and pin 2A as an output, and EN12 as output. Sometimes you might ask why we didn't put it exactly like a diagram 1, 2, N. The reason for that is when you define constants or variables, you cannot start with a number. So that's why I put EN12 instead of 1, 2, EN. Inside the loop, here we start, this portion is to control the motor and print the text. Here we use digital write, pin 1A will be high, now motor is, will be rotating in uh, counterclockwise and pin 2A will be low. This is the rule, pin 1A and 2A must be the opposite of each other. So these two will send the signal to the two pin of uh, motor but it will wait until enable receives signal and for enable we send pulse width modulation using analog write and this is 255 that's a maximum value of pulse width modulation now the motor will start rotating with this value and then we print the this text on the screen and this action will continue for four seconds because we have a delay of four seconds after that we stop the motor in order to stop the motor we just need to send a pulse modulation value of 0 instead of 255 to enable pen enable 1 2 using analog write and then we print this text and then we wait for 3 seconds so the motor is stopped for 3 seconds and in this section we are just changing high to low and low to high if you pay attention 1a was high and 2a was low so 1a was high and now you can see 1a is low and 2a is high now the rotation direction will change and here we send instead of 255 we are sending now 125 with a much slower speed and then we wait for four seconds for this action to take place then we stop the motor as before here we change the direction again and for four seconds and we stop the motor again and here we use a for loop uh, to send the value here with enable from uh, values to vary and here we initialize i with 125 which means it will start with 25 and i will continue until it reaches 255 incrementing here happens with a value of 20 so every time from 125 we just add 20 20 until it reaches equal or smaller than 255 it will exit so this i which will initially be 125 it will go to the motor and motor will rotate and this code will be executed then it goes back added to 20 so it will be 145 this time and it slowly increment until 255 reaches and every time every increment will take half a second or 500 millisecond and at the maximum value when the loop exits we will wait for for four seconds and then we stop the motor and here this portion of for loop is to go from maximum initially i is 255 so we send i 255 to the motor high and low is already determined but as long as i is above 100 or bigger than 100 this will continue and here we have set i minus what uh, equal 20 it means subtract 20 from i so it, it goes 255 and then it goes here, reaches from 255, subtracts 20, and the value will be here. So the motor will initially start with maximum and slow down at the increment of uh, 20, decrement of 20, and with a delay of 500 milliseconds. When it reaches 200, the loop will exit, and with that, with that value, the motor will run for 4 seconds, and this will be printed, showing us that the loop is done, 
and all the steps will repeat again. Now the code is running but I've not connected the power and so I'm gonna connect the power and reset my Arduino. This I will just press this reset button and as you can see it will start from with 255 and then motor stopped and it goes 125 and then stop and this time it will go counterclockwise stop and now it will uh, slowly increase from 125 it goes to the max wait for 4 seconds and stop the motor and this time it decreases the speed as you can see it's slowing down and then stop and the loop can goes back now this code was for the beginners uh, to understand how to drive a motor in the next lecture I'm going to write a special function and make it very clean and neat and you just send one letter character and the speed that you want and your function will take care of all of this and your code will be very clean. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.